One popular alternative to VLOOKUPs in Excel is to use index and match formulas to look up a value in a dataset. If you're not familiar with index and match, I advise you to look at the description of this video. You'll find some lessons about this concept and it's a very important concept so you can go and learn it. Now here, what I want to show you in this video is a case where index and match do not work and this is where we're going to use an unconventional approach by using index and some product. Some product usually is used to sum numbers and multiply numbers, but it is a very good formula for exceptions and you're going to see how to use it in a different way. So if you are excited, let's deep dive into it. Here I have my date and I have three countries. And for each date, I have a client that I have signed and the client has a country. The ask is simple. I need to select a client here from my list and I want to get the country of my clients. So let's try index match first and then let's see why it doesn't work. So we're gonna do equal index open parenthesis and then we need our array. Our array is where I have the answer. So my answer is here actually in those three cells, right? Then I have my row number. I only have one row here. So I just type one as simple as that. And then I need to get the column. In this case, I have client two. Client two is in column two. So if I just hard code it and do enter, I'll get France. The problem, it's not dynamic. So if I have, for example, client three, it doesn't change. So that's not ideal. What I need to do is to replace this two. If you tell me, okay, let's try a match formula. So I'm gonna do a match. My lookup value is my client, comma. Then I have my lookup array. The problem is with match, you can only select one row or one column. And you don't know which column you need, right? And you cannot select the whole data like this. I'm gonna do it for now. You're gonna see we're gonna get an error. I'm gonna do a comma and then exact match, which is zero. We close our parentheses, enter, and we get an error. So what is the solution here? Basically, let's try the sum product. With sum product, I'm gonna write it here on its own and then we can copy paste it. Let's start with something a bit simple. So we're gonna do equal sum product, open parentheses. We're gonna open another parentheses Select my data set. Let's select until client six as illustration. But after that, we're gonna just select the whole set. We're gonna say equal client two, close the parentheses and close the parentheses again. You get a zero, but don't worry about this zero. We're just gonna go to the formula bar and then we're gonna select part of the formula, press F9 and you can see that you get a lot of false and one true value. What does it mean? Basically, every cell that contains something that is not client two will give me false. And the only cell that has client two will give me true, which is fine. Now I'm gonna press escape. And then in front of this, I'm gonna do two minuses. What does it mean? It means I'm multiplying this true and false with minus one and then minus one. So multiplying it by one, what will it do? It will transform every false into a zero and every true into a one. So let's select this inside it. And then let's do F9 again. You can see I get zeros and then one and then zeros again. So if I press escape, so if I come here and I start typing them and I show you, so here we have three zeros because there is no match. Here zero, client two is a match, so one, zero. And then the rest are zeros, right? What are we gonna do? We need to multiply this, this, and this by a column number because this is column one, column two, and column three. So let's try to use a formula here about columns. So I'm just gonna type here, equal column, open parenthesis, and let's select Japan, France, and Colombia. What do I get here? 
I get 2, 3, and 4. If you have an old version of Excel, you won't see this. So you have to go up and do F9, and you're going to see the column 2, 3, and 4. Let's do escape. 2, 3, and 4 is not what I want. I want 1, 2, and 3. But B is the second column, right? So what I can do here is do minus 1. And then you get 1, 2, and 3, right? So let's now multiply this array with this array. So we're going to do equal 0 times 1. Let's use F4. But be careful. Here I only want to have the 3 with a dollar sign in front of it. So now we can drag this. And you can see that I get a 2. So if I multiply those and I add them, I'm going to get a 2 at the end. So here what we could do is do multiply by column. We have the range. We close the parenthesis minus 1. And I'm going to do another parenthesis before and after because I want to minus 1 from the column and then multiply. We press enter and now we get 2. So now we have a formula with some product that we can copy paste. So we do control C without the enter, escape. We go here, let's replace our match formula with this. And then I'm just going to give you a couple of seconds so you can check the formula and copy paste it if you want to. So take a screenshot, for example. And then now I press enter. And as you can see, we got France for client 2. If I go to client 3, I get Colombia. Now, the only problem I have here is that my range is only up to here. So I just need to make it go down. And then my formula is complete. So let's try, for example, client 12. And you'll get Japan. So this is how it works. This is how you can use a sum product formula to handle exceptions and to do some complicated lookups. Please let me know in the comment section whether this was easy or hard for you. And as usual, it would be amazing for the channel to encourage me to do videos like this. If you can like this video and subscribe to the channel.